Hey guys, welcome back. I'm glad to see you today. On today's episode, we're going to be building a set of shelves. It's going to be a set that's on this wall right here behind me. My wall is just a little under 14 feet long and a little over 7 feet tall. I want to maximize the amount of space I have to be able to store stuff on these shelves. So I'm going to be building the shelves right into the wall. Plus, we're going to be building some little secret compartments in there that keep things stowed away for safekeeping. Now, I did have a set of shelves on this wall that were a freestanding set. They're right over here. So anyway, this is the set of shelves that I had over on the other wall. As you can see, they're nowhere near the size of the other wall. These are only 6 foot tall by 7 foot wide. We're going to make something bigger over there. So as you can see, those shelves are nowhere near the size of the wall that I have over here. Those shelves are actually only 7 foot long by 6 foot tall. And they're freestanding, so if the kids climb on them, they're liable to tip over forward. So anyway, those shelves have been moved and fastened to the wall in another spot, and we're going to get this one under underway here. So hey guys, stick around, see what i got going on, and see what kind of tricks I have up my sleeves. Well, maybe not up my sleeves, but why don't you stick around and see what kind of tricks i got anyway. Okay, because we're building the bookcase and attaching it directly to the wall, we're going to have to work around these registers. We have one here and there's one behind me. We're going to have to build some ductwork out to the front of the bookcase so that the registers are still accessible at the front of the bookcase. We're also going to have to take this molding off of the floor because we want the wood to sit flush against the wall as we uh, start building. So let's get this molding off, let's get these registers taken off. register removed and the molding along the back wall, we're going to measure down the side walls. Now we know the bottom, we're going to have the bookshelf be 16 inches deep, so we can take 16 inches off, plus we're going to use 3 quarter inch stock on the front to put veneer on the front of the pieces of oak plywood. So we're going to take 16 and 3 quarters of an inch off of the molding on the floor on both sides of this bookcase. Let me get it done. This is my choice tool for making these fine cuts in the molding. This, this enables me to leave the molding on the wall and cut it right on the wall and just pry off the portion that I don't need anymore. So this microvibratory toy tool is the ticket right here. I'm going to be using this and getting this cut. Nice, quick, clean cut. Now, with a stud finder, I'm going to find the studs on the wall so I know where they're at and where I can fasten the shelves to. Now that we have these boards all cut and set into place, I wanted to put them in place to make sure that everything was lining up the way I wanted it to. Now, that's going to be it for today. Tomorrow, I'm going to be working on the ductwork for the registers to bring the register uh, vents out to the fronts of the bookshelves, and probably putting the bottoms and the tops on the end shelves here. So, hey, thanks for joining me, guys. I hope to see you soon on my next episode. Until then, bye-bye.